I'm Caleb from Caleb's Aviation, and right now I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. If you know anything about Cincinnati and aviation, you'll know it's home to the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport, or CVG. And this evening, that's where I'm heading, to this amazing airport. Give a little bit of history about it. It's an amazing cargo airport, and it's massive, just massive. And it's getting dark, and if you know cargo flights, they love nighttime. So, let's head over there and check stuff out. Alright, so I've arrived here in Cincinnati, and man, it looks cool. This airport looks really cool at night. A cargo jet 767 came in a minute ago, although I didn't get any good pictures. Try to get some better ones. Bear with me. January 10th of 2022 marked the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport's 75th anniversary. On July 10th, 1947, the first flight landed at CVG, which was an American Airlines flight from Cleveland, Ohio. Minutes later, the first Delta Airlines and TWA flights landed. Scheduled passenger service at the airport averaged about 24 flights per day back then. In 1947, the first commercial flight left CVG to Cleveland on American Airlines. CVG later launched with three major airlines, American, Delta, and TWA. On December 16, the jet age arrived as Delta Airlines announced their Convair 880 began its first scheduled service to CVG. 1970 brought the arrival of a new FAA control tower at CVG. The arrival of the 1980s. In 1982, a new passenger terminal was constructed at CVG. In 1983, cargo airline DHL opened its hub and night operations at CVG began in the 25,000 square foot area they have. In 1988, parts of the movie Rain Man were filmed in CVG's old terminal building. Nineteen ninety seven brought the fiftieth anniversary of Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. In 2013, low-cost airline Frontier began operations at CVG, CVG's first low-cost airline. Next year in 2014, low-cost carrier Allegiant landed at Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. In 2016, Cincinnati demolished the original terminal buildings 1 and 2 and Concourse C. 2017 marked another milestone for the airport as Cincinnati welcomed low-cost carrier Southwest Airlines. Twenty nineteen, Amazon Air broke ground on its first global hub. In twenty twenty, where other airports didn't do so well, Cincinnati thrived, becoming the seventh largest cargo airport in North America. Most recently, on January 10th of 2022, Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport celebrated 75 years of operation. That's enough history, let's get to the plane spotting. As mentioned earlier, CVG is a massive cargo hub nowadays for DHL and several other airlines that use the facility, including Amazon Air, who has a massive facility here as well. For some reason, there's a horse track but I guess we are in Kentucky. General Electric also has a manufacturing facility here at CVG. Cincinnati also has a large presence of passenger airlines, not just cargo flights located here. But perhaps the best part about Cincinnati Airport is that it has a dedicated airplane viewing area, which was a great location on this night as there were lots of flights coming right over my head. Got a great runway view this evening. Really good. That's a really good picture. Aviva Aerobus A320 Neo from Cancun. I'd never seen an A320 Neo before, and for me, this was so awesome. So excited. 
for this bad boy. Oh yeah, come on. Woohoo! This was so fun. I wish more airports had this kind of feature. Here comes an American Eagle CRJ900 from Charlotte Douglas International Airport to Cincinnati. Oh yeah. I love this. A320neo from Denver International Airport. Another airport on my bucket list, another airline I intend to fly. Wow, that was really cool. Sitting there with it coming right over the head, right at the approach. I'm gonna try to come back tomorrow in the daytime and see if we can get some better pictures, but yeah, the viewing area here at Cincinnati is awesome. It's really a great idea. I wish more airports did it, especially for people like me. All right, good morning. So it's the next day. So here I am again, and this afternoon, I'm heading back to Cincinnati Airport, do some more plane spotting, hopefully with some sunlight, as you can see, it's a good day today. Nice blue sky, good weather, should be great. Let's head back over to Cincinnati. Now that's what I call a view. 767s, A300s, and over there is a Polar Air Cargo 747-8 freighter. Pretty cool. DHL 330 heading out to Brussels. Right as I arrived, almost on cue, this DHL A330 freighter was heading out. Delta CRJ 700 heading to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Whereas last night's views were great, today was even better, although the airplanes came in on the other runway. touching down from Anchorage. But this was the highlight for me, seeing a Polar Air Cargo 747-400 freighter touching down from Anchorage. That's the flight we were waiting on that just came in from Anchorage. There goes the FedEx flight out to Memphis. What a treat to see this behemoth of a freighter. What a difference seeing a 747 next to a 777 freighter, and what an awesome picture. And another treat seeing a 747-400 converted freighter of Kalita Air in the face mask livery. I also saw an Alaska Airlines 737 headed to Seattle. I didn't even know Alaska Airlines served Cincinnati. Then I decided to drive around to the other side of Cincinnati Airport to see if I could get a better view of those 767 freighters. And boy was that a good idea.
return to the viewing area just in time to see that Southern Air 777 freighter heading out to Seoul, Incheon. It is really cold out here, guys. It's probably funny. And look, one taking off, a CRJ-900 up to Detroit. I was glad to see this flight, as Detroit is my home commercial airport. Next time, maybe I'll fly down to Cincinnati. And that right there is why you come to Cincinnati. The 747s, the 767s. This deck is really nice too, this plane spotting area. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I can't wait to come back. As always, wishing you blue skies and tailwinds.